it's it's amazing. It's just seeing that these kids are at such a young age are able to basically be in a situation where they're changing lives and they're making an impact on the sort of environment around them. It's obviously with myself now when I look back, I started at 16 and these kids have part since the age of five it's it's amazing seeing that kids are out there knowing what is going on and wanting to make a change trying to basically do whatever they can to make life in this world a lot more positive and i'm very fortunate to actually be seeing kids like this that are growing up and seeing the challenges that are facing that they are facing but they're willing to go out there and make a change and try the absolute best on them children in ways which clearly show our children that we value them. They in their turn will then learn how to value themselves. I'd say obviously with my journey from being on Educating Yorkshire six years ago, it's actually nice seeing that I could actually come here and have an impact on the lives of the kids that are here. Obviously with myself being on the show and having a speaking problem, I just needed someone to believe in me. And the kids that have won the awards today are kids that have gone out there and worked harder. And obviously it's amazing to actually be in a situation where not only was I the kid that actually overcame a speaking problem, but now in a means of helping kids realize their potential. So I'm really fortunate and I'm so like honored to actually be here at the Princess China Awards. As of right now, I'm actually at university. Um, I'm actually plan uh, well, studying broadcast journalism and I'm also a motivational speaker. So, ever since the actual TV show Educating Yorkshire, I've not really been in a situation where I've been able to help others out there. So, being a motivational speaker allows me to basically take away that sort of time and be in a situation where I'm able to go out there and give kids that sort of confidence that you you know what maybe you have been told in the past that you can't do something but you really can and i think that was sort of my story and today i'll be speaking in front of these kids and teachers and parents and i'm really fortunate that this opportunity is here and i can't wait